Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Gone Home. This is part four. Thank you for joining me. I apologize. I've been a little bit delayed on these videos. Um, but we're back now. Um, the last part, I uh, listened to uh, some funky music. And uh, we learned more about what was going on with Sam. And still don't know what's going on in the house. There are several things that I'm sure are giving us clues to that. Uh, there are a couple things that I'd missed. Uh, I was told about last time, so we're going to run back, or told about from part two that I had missed. So we're going to run back and get those really fast. Uh, the first one is here in the study here. Uh, there is, so there's a typewriter here and all these notes. So here we pulled out the binder and I'll set it here for the moment. There is something hidden, a false bottom. Set that there, and there is, whoops, let's set this on the floor in case there's anything else. There is a letter. One Arbor Hill, Boone County, Oregon, 97141. Okay, so it's to Terrence. Dear Terrence, I wrote on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are near, newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to consider my, pa my past and my family, and my thoughts have often lingered on your uh, development and welfare in the ten years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. You are always welcome on Arbor Hills. Something's missing. I will understand something else. Of course, I think. I will understand, of course. Of course, if you feel you cannot probably accept this invitation. Yours very sincerely, Oscar Mason. So Oscar Mason, apparently, is a, is a colleague from the past that... Uh, that her dad knew. So there's that. And the other thing I missed, well, missed, I should say, uh, was pointed out to me. I technically saw this, but I did not necessarily put two and two together. Over here in this binder, the inside cover, 0451, is a combination code, like for a combination lock. Probably for the file cabinet here is what I was told. So let's do this. 0451, right? There we go. And there is a document here. Anything else? No, just the document. Okay. Dear Mr. Mason, misspelled. I think, well, Mason, could be A, and I guess. Please find and close your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise, Kubelik and Wise, Attorneys at Law. Okay, so what was the original document? Will and Testament, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory, at full survey of the value of items to my name, do hereby declare this document in my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. One, I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. Two, I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name to any creditors, living or dead. Three, I do hereby bequeath every item of value to which of, of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and monitored accounts to my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. of Ellis County. So this Uncle Mason was the one who'd sent the other letter and said, I understand if you can't come see me. And then he said, you know, I hope you can come, but if you can't, I understand. And this is Will. Um, in the event that that said Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. should predecease me, then and in such event the bequest to him shall fall, and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will, this 13th day of August, 1973, signed Oscar Mason. And then this is the handwritten copy of it. Okay. So that's something there that we did that I didn't know. So that's cool. Okay. So 
So there you go. So a couple things I had missed last time. Thank you. Um, I don't remember your name that pointed it out. I apologize. I suck, apparently. But uh, thank you for pointing that out. Very much appreciate that. That gives me more of the story. So I have a better understanding of what's going on a little bit. Piece by piece here and there. Put put the puzzle together. Already been to these, so let's go ahead and try this door now. Locked. All right. So there are a couple of locked doors. The end of that hall, this door over here. And there also is uh, a... Was it a, was it a safe? Oh, there was something. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not remembering right. I thought there was like a something else with. Uh, was it over here? Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> this is what happens when I end up taking a break in between. I forget small things. Sorry, I'm kind of absent-minded. <laughs> Always have been since I was like I don't know. A kid. So that bodes well for my future, obviously. Uh, okay. So I guess we're heading upstairs now. Newspaper clipping. Grab a pack of cards. Don't really do anything. Okay. And if I go closer, I can throw them back in there. There we go. Uh, anyway, newspaper clipping. Controlled burn schedule for Boone County. Eyes of the overgrown section. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna burn overgrown sections of the national forest. Preparing the burn will take place between eight and five Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, possibly into Thursday, depending on speed of progress. According to the Forest Service, in addition to removing dead. And overgrown vegetation uh, can lead to wildfires in drier months. The operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the force and firefighters personnel. So we will likely linger through the following weekend. This is like still the year, basically, that that uh, Caitlin had left, though. Um, because she's returning in 95. This is like 11 months before she... Or no, sorry, July. So this is three, nine months before she got back. All right. Also over here. I don't know if there's anything else that way. I'm going to leave all the lights on in the house because this could easily get hella creepy. <laughs> uh, grab the comb. Go back. Okay, the calendar. Uh, this is... These are also in September 94. Uh... Couples bowling, I think. Cooking class, take apron. I just... The, the amount of detail they put... I mean, they, they wrote all these out and scanned them so that you would have them in the game. It's just so freaking cool. I just cannot get over how well they've done this game. I've read some... I've read, I haven't read details. I've read, like, just headlines of some people critiquing it, uh, giving it kind of some negative... Reviews a little bit negative, at least anyway. But I think this is an amazing game. I think they did such a good job of it. Just great. You don't see this kind of work put into a game anymore. Uh, very often, you do, you do, but not not nearly as often. Um, notice temporary personnel transfer. Trade in the upcoming prescribed burn operation. A ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station of Flint Lock National Forest. Please see attached personnel file. They were seeing officer Flint Lock. Janice Greenbrier. Okay, so she... So Mrs. Greenbrier is the uh, overseeing officer at the forest station. Charge of supervision transfer personnel duration will be based on performance, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so a little bit more information on Janice Greenbrier. That's cool. It's interesting that that light didn't come on, but this one did. All right, we have down here. Is that case? And we have. Well, I don't remember if there was. Yeah, there was. 
Let's, I mean, there might be one upstairs too, but I know for a fact there's one downstairs. So let's go listen to this tape. Shall we? Let's see what the tape has on it. Could be music. Could be, um, could be several things. Let's try it and see. Oops. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home, and she gave me this tape, and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Nice. Brat mouth. Uh, Brat mobile potty mouth. It's a good... It's a good song. I like it a lot. If I find the actual cassette instead of just the cassette case, then I totally am playing it. <laughs> but I don't... Uh, there's no cassette in the case yet. And the other cassette... Did we play that? Wait, did we play? Maybe we played Potty Mouth last time. Play? I don't remember. Ah, my brain is mush tonight. Sorry. It's a little after midnight, so I'm uh, not exactly remembering everything. I bet the cassette's in here somewhere. It's okay. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. This is Blalock. Blad Blalock? Something. Cool. And then English creative writing. Three suits from each track will be offered full scholarship for the first year at Reed. Nice. Okay, cool. Nothing really special for that. Three ring binder. Alright. It's cool, but uh, so weird that nobody's here and that we have no idea what happened. Misfits. Haha. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Uh, ta ta. How is this taken out? Huh. It's weird. Oh, okay. Malays. Good fellow high school disciplinary referral. Yolanda De Soto. Unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled Habs Blue Ribbon. <laughs> uh, turn a shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker. Or be suspended for the rest of the day. She chose suspension. Father's called. No answering machine. No answer. Must return this form tomorrow. Signed by her father. This is... Okay, so this is Lonnie. This is Ms. DeSoto. Okay. Oh, yeah, Yolanda. Duh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, I can't take it out of the can. I guess it just goes back. Okay. For sure. Brother 150. This is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done. Nice. Okay. It's just some pen. Yeah. 
groove okay another issue of groove yeah Kurt Cobain dying it's definitely one of the tragedies of the 90s grab the fork I'm gonna stab somebody uh, what I want to believe is the X-Files. So many references from the 90s. It's, it's awesome. Oh, uh, here's another combination. Okay, so I need to find that somewhere. Codes. Chun-Li moves. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So we know she played when she played Street Fighter. Do you have a console here? Can I put it in? Uh, probably not. Alright, I'll put it back. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. Nope. Oh, it's back. It's back. Alright, here's the tape. Here's the tape. Here we go. You're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're so cool. You're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, too. Cool, come on. <laughs> Special A is adorable, M is for Mary, A is for affection, and for nice. T is for thoughtful, H for honest, A for admirable, Samantha. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> Sam's probably like, ugh, really? <laughs> it's awesome. Caller? Mitten, 1888 Dry Creek Road. How oh, do we just get the one song? Oh, I think we just get the one song. All right, cool schmuck. <laughs> uh, board game. Got your number. Are you going to the dance with anyone? Who's got a crush on you? I don't know. I I don't I I don't I I I hope I find out. Doesn't doesn't everyone want it? Doesn't anybody want to take me out on a date? He's so dreamy. Like dreams. Dreams probably the wrong language. He's so hot. He's so hot. Uh, okay, King's Labyrinth. Chapter 2, Frank Threads. So this is cool. So this is, she, um, as she progressed in time, it looks like she stuck with the same story continuing to develop it, because now it's a typed copy right before. It was a handwritten copy when she was like in what? Fourth grade? Sixth grade? Something I don't remember. Something like that. In grade school. Um, Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended the single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. 
She and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread, nigh unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind, leading their way back to the entrance. From further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice. The hairs on, the ca on Captain Allegra's arm stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap, spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the dead king's throne room lay below. Skeletal in rotted robes, the king was hunched over the blue orb, topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls as he sang, wailing. <coughs> Souls flowed in one by one through the cracks in the cave walls, pulled into the orb, causing it to grow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long staircase, hewn from rock, led down into the chamber from a passage at the top. Allegra said, We have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention, and then you... But the first mate interrupted, No, I am smaller and quicker, and you know of dealing with mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side, get the king's attention, and lead him on a merry chase. She held up the silk line, All traced by this invisible thread, of course. Allegra said, It is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tied the shining thread of bell to her trousers, of her trousers, gave a quick salute and wink, and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly across the top of the stairs, where the first mate was to appear. The king, king continued his... Wait, no. No! The singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop the first mate from running headfirst into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her. No use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passageway. She skidded to a stop. Even from across the yawning basin, Allegra could see the first mate's eyes growing wide. She turned and ran. Summoning his undead power, the king left the ground, levitating, gliding behind her with distressing speed. From some dank passage much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running toward the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering line, twisting it around her arm. She came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled limply, its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran. Ran. Nice. I like it. I like it. Sam should totally be enough. Okay. I don't know that there's anything else in the closet here. I looked at the plaque. I don't know. Can I? There's no jump that I, as far as I know. So we'll just leave that. Okay. Well, we did a little bit more exploration. We found a little bit more. So uh, we're going to go ahead and break this up into parts again in 20 minute segments roughly so thanks everybody for watching this has been Let's Play Gone Home Part 4 my name is Zexor please don't forget to like favorite subscribe comment let me know what you think of this let me know if you have any suggestions uh, if you would like to see me do more of like Strange Voices or play more music or you know run through things faster whatever you'd like to see let me know and I'll try to do the playthrough that way um uh, I mean, I'll at least consider it and try to do more of what you're wanting. So, anyway, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Till next time, peace.